Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy end of June, which only means one thing. It is time for my June 2015 favorites. We are officially and finally in summer and I don't know whether to be happy about it or pissed off about it because I'm actually not that big of a fan of summer. Like I remember I used to really like summer, but I don't know why. As of recently, I just, summer's just not my thing. It's way too hot. There's bugs. I just, it's, I don't like summer. Me and summer... We're not friends. So, but uh, I figured I would go ahead and do my June 2015 favorites anyway because I know you guys really like my favorites videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it because I have quite a few things in this favorites video today. First off, I just want to say that, oh my gosh, can we just take a minute to just appreciate the hair? Oh my god. So I got my hair done today because... And with the holiday coming up, I was like, you know what, I want my hair to look really, really good and I want it to be one even color. So I decided um, with my a little bit of my paycheck, I decided to go and get my hair done. So that is what I did today. And holy crap, it is amazing. I love it. So I got the color redone. So the color is all nice and even. I got it really, really nicely washed. Oh my gosh, I'm just obsessed. Like, I wish we could, like, feel through video because if you guys could just feel my hair right now, like, my hair is so incredibly soft. It's so shiny. It just looks amazing. I even got some shampoo from them as well to color protect my hair. So, really, really excited about that. So, my hair is done. I'm feeling good. So, I figured I would film my June 2015 favorites with my gorgeous new do. So, yeah. Just wanted to put that out there because I'm really excited about it. Okay, so the very first favorite that I have been absolutely obsessed with this month is Epsom salt. And a lot of you are probably like, what, what is that? Like, what is Epsom salt? Well, Epsom salt right here is what I have been using to soak my feet in. For those of you who don't know, I have started working recently and I am literally on my feet for about seven to eight hours a day, like nonstop, like no breaks, nothing. And my feet have been taking such a beating like they are so swollen they're painful my feet have just been in excruciating pain i bought um the dr Scholl's insert type things really really expensive they're like 50 bucks that's expensive to me by the way um uh 50 bucks for those and those didn't work like they actually make my feet hurt even more so that kind of sucked and then someone recommended epsom salts to me and I went to my dollar store and lo and behold, they have lavender scented Epsom salt. So this is what they look like. They're just kind of like um, bath salts, I guess. And you can use them either in your bath. But it says right here, it says a foot soak for sore feet. So I bought them. I gave it a try. And oh my gosh, they are amazing. You guys need to give them a try. If you're someone who's on their feet all day at work and they get super swollen and sore, these would be your friends. So I have... Literally, mm, I don't even know. So as you can see, they are almost gone down in there and I did buy another bag, so I should be good to go. But I usually soak my feet every single night before I go to sleep. Um, Chance actually recently got me a little foot massager spa thing. So I fill it up with hot water, I put my Epsom salts in there and I let it massage my feet. And first off, the smell of these are just absolutely amazing. It just smells so, so good. And lavender is a really calming scent, so it keeps you nice and relaxed. It's just amazing. So I love these. I soak my feet for about 15 to 20 minutes a night or until the water gets cold, um, and then I just dump it out. And my feet just feel so plump. They feel, you know, they just feel better. So I have been loving these. They really do work. At first, I was really skeptical. I was like, there's no way. Salts, like, really, no. But um, they really do. So these have been my life this month. My very next favorite that I have for my June 2015 favorites is my planner. So as of recently I decided to jump on the whole planner bandwagon type thing and I went and bought just a one dollar one from the dollar store and I kind of like decorated it myself so it's like personalized to me. I'm not into the whole Erin Condren fad or whatever like eighty dollars for a planner like that's fucking ridiculous. No thank you. So I went and got my own little planner and it just looks like this literally one dollar from the dollar store and then my sister she is like a scrapbook type person so she has like a bunch of stickers and things like that so I pretty much just took all of her little crafts and personalized my own little planner. Basically this planner is for like my work schedule like days that I'm working 
or you know just things like that just like events coming up so, so yeah it just looks like this and here's the front cover of it so I just kind of have like this floral border and then you will notice throughout my planner is I have fan art from you guys in my planner so for example on the very front cover I have like this cartoon version of me that someone gave to me and then um, I have like a bee here and then I have a little pink flower and hello and then it just says weekly and monthly planner and if you can see that right there it has a little puppy pop prints because well my dogs are my life then on the very inside cover it just has my initials right here with some more paw prints and then a sticker that says dogs are my favorite people and then here's just another page I just have like 2015 because that's obviously that's the year that we're in so I just have that on this page here and then I have some more fan art from you guys so I just have my name my birth year and then my fan art love that you guys like i have some talented freaking subscribers like you guys are awesome then i have some more here with my purple hair and it just says girls rock and i just have that there and then i have barbie written right here b-a-r-b-i-e and then just kind of all decorated like that so yeah i just like i have everything written in here like i have like my work schedule things like that um like when i have like time off so there's like a good amount of space to write stuff in here too which is a huge advantage to these like one dollar like cheap little planners because the Erin condren ones only give you like a little tiny square and like what the fuck is that like what could you possibly write in that i don't know but yeah i just have things like that um let's see i know i have a really cool page in here I already have Halloween decorated with like a little pumpkin there. So yeah, it's just something really cool. It just kind of keeps me a little more organized if I have like um, just something going on. I can just write it in here. And then my favorite holiday is Halloween. So I literally took a page and decorated it with all Halloween stuff. So here I have another drawing that someone did of me. That is a picture of me, but someone drew it. So I chose that one. And then I just have it decorated with all kinds of like, you know, just Halloween type things because... I am a Halloween freak, let me just say. And then I have this page right here, which pretty much describes my personality in a nutshell. Like, come on, like, <laughs> that is just so me. So I have that there. And then the very back cover just says hashtag bah because it's the end of the planner. So I don't know, but I've just been really liking this. It's been really helpful just to kind of write down important things. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So the very next thing that I have for my June 2015 favorites is if you guys remember not too, too long ago, I did a um, huge makeup haul with Physicians Formula and BH Cosmetics where I bought a whole bunch of stuff. And at the very end of the video, I showed you guys a new brush set that I got. And well, I guess you can pretty much just guess what my next favorite is gonna be. And that is some of the brushes from that brush set. Holy crap, I have been literally using nothing but these brushes. If you guys don't know this about me, I am a huge Beauty Blender fan, like to blend out my foundation. I almost always use a Beauty Blender and nothing else. This brush right here has changed my life. Like, I love this brush. It's like a flat top kind of slanted kabuki brush. Just looks like that. And they're all Beach Cosmetics brushes, so they all kind of have this like big black handle and then the brushes here these are amazing for foundation so i have only been using these this month like ever since i got the brushes i'm in love and then this eyeshadow brush i'm obsessed with like you can see that i use them quite a bit so i use this big fluffy one for powder and then i've been using these two for foundation and then this eyeshadow brush has been like my life just to like sweep colors into the crease like today i did my crease color with this and I'm obsessed. I love it so much. These are amazing. My very next favorite for this month is actually a lotion. And if you guys remember almost a year ago exactly, I showed you guys this shampoo, the Suave uh, Moroccan Infusion. Uh, it just looks like this. It's just a shampoo and it smells amazing. That's like my all-time favorite thing about the shampoo is the smell. So it's like a shine shampoo and it just gives a really nice shine to your hair. For those of you who are wondering how I get my hair so shiny, it's this stuff right here. But I was just browsing through the dollar store just getting some stuff and I needed just some body lotion because I was running out and after I shave I usually always put lotion on so I needed some new lotion so I was walking through the aisles and all of a sudden something caught my eye and I was like that looks familiar so I grab it and pretty much heaven came to earth when I saw this because it is literally this shampoo right here but in a lotion form are you serious? I found the Suave Moroccan Infusion Body Lotion and this stuff. 
Oh my god, it smells identical to the shampoo. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I bought like two of them and I'm, oh, oh, I love it. It smells so good. It makes my body smell good. Like I look forward to shaving now because I know I'm going to be putting this stuff on after and it's amazing. So definitely if you're looking for a new body lotion that smells really, really good, check out this stuff right here. The next thing that I have is something kind of not really guys can relate to, I guess, but that is going to be my new found love and I'm actually wearing one today and that is sports bras. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I love sports bras. I don't know why it took me so long to get some. I'm an idiot. I should have got these a long time ago, but definitely sports bras have been my entire life recently. I have, I can't even remember, I can't even tell you the last time I wore an actual bra because I've been wearing these so much. So I got a pack of three. I just got a plain white one, a black one, and then this little gray one that I'm wearing today. These are fabulous. So if you guys don't remember, um, a few months ago now, I was, I had like a breast cancer scare where they found a couple tumors in my left breast. Um, thankfully, they turned out to be benign, but they are still there. And they do sometimes grow in size depending on my cycle and things like that. So sometimes they can be a little uncomfortable and wearing like traditional underwire bras are actually very, very painful and very uncomfortable to me. So I decided to try out something like sports bras just for more like support and just to keep them, you know, in place. So I decided to pick up sports bras and I got a pack of three from Walmart. Um, they just look like this. They're just like little sports bras. They're really, really cute on. I really like them. Like the tumors that I have in my left breast, they are still pretty uncomfortable. Like I think in the future I am going to have them surgically removed because sometimes when I lay on this side, um, I can, like I can feel them right now. Like they're right here. Um, sometimes when I lay on them, sometimes they can be a little tender. Um, just if I lay on them the wrong way. And these just kind of give like a lot of support. These have been washed at least 80 times because I wear them so much. So I'm like constantly like rotating colors. <sighs> These are amazing. I love them so much. Yay! And the very next favorite that I have for June, I don't think I have ever had for a favorites video before. Correct me if I'm wrong. I might have, but I can't really remember because my head is just in outer space right now. But I have been really enjoying a specific food this month, and it's very weird. I don't know what's up with me, but my favorite food for this month has been bologna. <laughs> sounds so weird like just saying bologna is my favorite food but yeah this month I have just really genuinely been enjoying bologna as a snack for those of you who don't know what bologna is look it up it's just like a circle of meat it's just it's bologna like you make bologna sandwiches you make other type, type of sandwiches with it it is so good and especially this month I have been eating them by the cartons just like when I come home from work I'm like I want a snack and I go to the fridge and I just grab the whole pack of bologna I would show you what it looks like but I ate the very last package so now I don't actually have any more bologna and I'm kind of heartbroken but those of you who are gonna ask maybe you're pregnant are you pregnant not to my knowledge I've just been really craving bologna so Yay for bologna. Yay food. <laughs> Probably weirdest favorites video ever. The very next favorite for my June 2015 is Jackalberry had a birthday. Yeah, did you have a birthday this month? Oh, kisses. I had to wake him up from his nap, so he's kind of a little disoriented right now. But um, yeah, on June 20th, Mr. Jackalberry here celebrated his birthday. Yeah, didn't you, baby? Yeah. So on June 20th of 2012, which was three years ago, um, that is when I got Jackal and we rescued him from an abusive home. Um, he was being abused by one of the family members. Um, he would beat him, hit him on the head, burn him with cigarettes, just, just things like that. And also they had a bigger dog that he didn't get along with, so there was just constant dog fights. And um, so we rescued him from the home. I know, just one more second, okay? So we rescued him from the home three years ago, and since he is a rescue, um, they didn't have any uh, papers or any information on him, so we don't know exactly how old he is, we don't know when his exact birthday is, but we just made June 20th his birthday because that's the day we got him, so it's kind of like an anniversary birthday, but we just call it his birthday, and I actually vlogged, I don't know if it's up yet, it should be up, but I, if you guys watch that vlog, um, I celebrated his birthday, we made him a cake, we sung to him, we put a little candle in there for him, 
So yeah, we did that on June 20th. And that was really fun. Like it was so much fun. So that was definitely a favor of this month for sure. And for those of you who are going to ask, he is a terrier, Chihuahua Terrier mix. In his coat, he is Brindle. So that's his color. For those of you who are going to ask. Have a good birthday. Can you say hi, everybody? Say hi, everybody. I had a good birthday. My name is Jackal. And I'm a good boy. I uh, guess. Thank you. Say bye. Okay, and I only have two more things for my June 2000 favorites. And for those of you who have maybe caught on to the trend by now, I always save some songs for the very end of my favorites video. So if you don't want to really hear the songs that I've been enjoying this month, then you can pretty much exit out of the video now because the whole rest of this video is going to be songs. I have two big ones that I have been obsessed with this month. The first one is kind of unexpected because I don't like Justin Bieber at all. I'm not a Justin Bieber fan. But for those of you who may know the song, Where Are You Now? with Skrillex and Justin Bieber, that song is amazing. I am so in love with that song. His voice just sounds really good. The beat is really catchy. It's just so good. When it comes on the radio, I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, I love it. It's so good. So, without further ado, here it is. Song. And the very last thing that I have for my June 2015 favorites is another song and that is one that has been very popular. It's very, very dirty so I really wouldn't recommend listening to it if you're sensitive to sexual things. Um, but I've just really been enjoying it. And that is by Tav Lo and it's Talking Body. <sighs> that song is extremely hot. I love that song. It's also very, very catchy. The lyrics are a bit dirty but what are you gonna do? 2015, y'all. Obsessed with it so... For those of you who've never heard it before, here you go. So that was graphic. Sexy, I think it's romantic. I love it. Love it so much. So yeah, that is everything that I have for my 2015 favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down to my channel. There's a little button that says subscribe if you're not already. Be sure you hit that so it says that you're subscribed. You know, all that good stuff. Um, I have a lot of exciting videos planned for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned on my channel for those. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys very much. Bye!